Hey, what's up guys? So this is a very important video and I request you to watch this video till the end because I'll be sharing some very important tips to keep yourself secure and keep your privacy intact when you're online. And this has to do with Google Chrome, which is the most popular browser for Android because it comes pre-installed. A lot of people just use this browser. So go in settings on Google Chrome and here go in privacy and security and then scroll down and you will see this option called safe browsing. So right now you can see that standard protection is on. If you go in here, you will see that we have three options, enhanced protection, standard protection and no protection, which is also not recommended by Google. So this is something that you need to stay away from. So standard protection is turned on by default. What this does is that it protects against sites, downloads and extensions that are known to be dangerous. When you visit a site, Chrome sends an obfuscated portion of the URL to Google through a privacy server that hides your IP address. If a site does something suspicious, full URLs and bits of page content are also sent. So that's what it does. Now, if you go in here, you will see that we have two options here. So this one help improve security on the web for everyone. This is by default turned off. And then the second option, which is actually turned on is warn you if a password was compromised in a data breach. So if you want to keep standard protection on, turn this feature on as well. And what this will do is that it will send URLs of some pages you visit, limited system information and some page content to Google to help discover new threats and protect everyone on the web. So this is standard protection, but then there is enhanced protection, real time proactive protection against danger sites, downloads and extensions that's based on your browsing data getting sent to Google. Now you can have some reservations about sending your browsing data to Google but on the other hand this will also keep you safe so this is something you have to decide for yourself so if we go in enhanced protection it lists everything that it does it warns you about danger sites even ones google didn't know about before by analyzing more data from sites than standard protection you can choose to skip chrome warnings if you want in-depth scans for suspicious downloads when your sign in protects you across google services improves security for you and everyone on the web warns you if you use a password that has been compromised in data breach and then there are some other things to consider like sends the urls of sites you visit and a small sample of the page content downloads extension activity and system information to google safe browsing to check if they are harmful when you're signed in this data is linked to your google account to protect you across google services for example increasing protection in gmail after a security incident doesn't noticeably slow down your browser or device so this is what you need to look at and if this works for you turn this feature on and that's about it from this video guys let me know in the comments what you guys think of this feature if you are turning these settings on or not and i'll see you in the next one till then take care Bye bye